Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. Bloomington residents are curious about the future of transportation as the city's downtown continues to grow and parking is hotly debated. As part of our new city limits project, we answer a question from a viewer who wants to know if the city plans to eliminate cars downtown. Alex Eady has more. Efforts to attract visitors to Bloomington's downtown have sparked contentious debate over how people should get there. But some residents say the city's intentions are unclear. I'm wondering, you know, is it, is it, are they trying to, not trying to, but are they going to make it harder for people like me who live on the west side to get into town and enjoy the benefits and the amenities that they've put down here? Sarah says a 20 minute commute by car is the most viable option for her to get downtown. But she feels cars are becoming less welcome as the area grows. While cars are the most utilized method of getting to and from downtown, the city has shifted its focus in recent years toward more multimodal transportation. But city officials say eliminating cars downtown is not the goal. We certainly want to reduce single occupancy use of vehicles. We want to encourage more multimodal options uh, for people uh, to come to the downtown using different modes. But the task is challenging. The debate about cars downtown has broadened into discussions on climate change, economic development, and upcoming city council elections. The 4th Street garage has become the focus. City officials closed the garage in January after determining it was structurally unsafe. Engineers say the garage has seen deterioration above and beyond what they initially expected. The garage shows significant damage, cracks in the concrete, rusted steel beams, and a number of other structural issues have added nearly $300,000 to the estimated cost of repairs. The council heard from more than 30 residents on the issue Wednesday. Some think the deteriorating garage should be torn down and rebuilt to last several decades. Others believe it should be repaired to last five years to buy the city some time to see how climate change affects the future of transportation. Downtown Bloomington needs more parking. We've needed more parking even when we had the garage. It's ridiculously obvious. We've kicked the can on climate for 30 years. Our backs are literally to the wall now. We are about to drive over a cliff. But in the end, city council members voted to tear down and rebuild the garage, which is part of the city's larger plan to accommodate cars while also pushing for increased use of bikes, scooters, and other ways of getting around. A lot of people are dependent on their automobile, and we'd like to make it an option that they don't have to always depend on that automobile, that they have a very good viable choice for transit or for uh, walking or for biking. Um, and that's something that we're trying to make sure that those options are there. And that's important for residents like Sarah, who hope to see all forms of transportation welcomed in the city's future. Making the access to the downtown equal for everybody, everybody that that wants to drive, people that want to bus in, people that want to bike in. I mean, the city's done a great job with some of those other methods and just keeping options open for everybody. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Alex Eady. We want to hear your questions about the changing face of Bloomington. You can join the conversation by going to WTIU.org slash city limits to ask your questions about the past, present, and future of the city of Bloomington. 